G'day, welcome to an hour of uh, Rugby League free Dateline. As we've come to expect, unfortunately, the Middle East has been anything but peaceful of late. In Lebanon, Arabs have been fighting Arabs. In Gaza, Hamas and Fatah have announced yet another shaky ceasefire. And of course, the struggle between the Israelis and Palestinians is never ending. Invariably, these are the conflicts that grab the headlines, but few realise there's another dimension to the struggle between Arab and Jew, this one within Israel itself. Surprisingly, one in five Israelis are Arabs, descendants of the Palestinians who didn't flee with the founding of Israel back in 1948. That 20% of the population says it's discriminated against by the Jewish state. To see this internal conflict for herself, Dateline reporter Sophie McNeil travelled to Israel. It was in the 90th minute of Israel's World Cup qualifying match against Ireland and Abbas Suan was about to score for his country. In his moment of glory, this Israeli Arab thought his struggle for acceptance would finally be over. A devout Muslim, Suan has no problem embracing Jewish culture. But like most of these Jewish states, one and a half million Arab citizens, Suwan has a mixed sense of identity. I am an, a Palestinian because I have a lot of uh, brothers and cousins in the Arab countries. And I am Israeli because I live here and don't go out of my lands. I am, uh, that's it, I, I have to do the rules in this country. <laughs> As an Arab player in a predominantly Jewish league, Suan often finds himself on the receiving end of racist taunts. And even when Suan played a local match after scoring his goal against Ireland, Supporters of the opposing team turned up with a sign that said, Abba Suan, you don't represent us. He got the message. We don't uh, want you in the national team and you don't belong to the Israel community and to the Israel country. <laughs> Suwan says he's often singled out as a potential security threat when he travels in and out of the country representing Israel. Relations between Jews and Arabs inside Israel are at a turning point. On the one hand, there is a Muslim Arab cabinet minister, Praleb Majadli, for the first time in the country's history. But the cabinet also includes Avigdor Lieberman, who has called for many Arab citizens to be transferred out of Israel. The new sports science and culture minister is being welcomed by Jewish families at a local judo championship. Khaled Majadli, who comes from the Labour Party, hopes his appointment is more than just symbolic. But even Majadli admits the Israeli government, of which he's a part, 
discriminates against Arab citizens. What do you think of having a, a Arab Israeli minister in the cabinet? I think it's very strange because uh, they can talk very well, but uh, who knows what they think. Majadali's appointment has been criticized by some Israeli Jews and condemned by right-wing cabinet minister Avigdor Lieberman. Lieberman recently called for Majadli's resignation when the Arab minister admitted he refuses to sing Israel's national anthem. I don't hate any, any, any man in my life, just one man, this Lieberman. You don't uh, believe that Arabs uh, uh, have uh, to be here in, uh, in Israel. Like Sports Minister Khaled Majadli, Suwan refuses to sing the national anthem because it's about the Jewish people's desire to return to its homeland. Suwan is one of two Arab players on the national side who are silent while the anthem is played. I was in the with Ghanesh, it's not the same thing. Because there are Arabs in the world, and there are Arabs in the world, and there are I don't know it. To Abbas, the national anthem is just one more reminder that the country he so proudly represents was not intended to include him. Many Israeli Arabs feel this way. In the village of Arab El Naim, 1,200 Israeli Arabs live in tin shacks with no access to running water. Fahim lives here with his wife and five sons. Despite his anger at his situation, for him flies the Israeli flag in the hope it will protect his family's home from demolition. <laughs> 